Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Asa Soldier, and welcome back to another video. It is your boy, Asa. He is back. Anyway, I just want to introduce you guys to a new game we are playing, and it will be called Ark. Now, this is very similar to Ark Survival Evolved. I absolutely love the game. I thought it was one of the best games I ever played, but I just never could really get hooked onto it. But, um... It's just been so long, guys, and I I want to apologize because, for one, one of the main reasons, straight out, straight away, just one of the main, main reasons why I just did not want to make videos was just because I didn't have any inspiration for it, for one, and for two, I didn't have any easy, simple, and quick way of just setting up videos and getting it all. my videos and I just want to really thank you guys so much for the support for that but as this game it does take a while crash the world so we're just going to start out just doing some basics mining some resources I that I'm building a lot and I'm going to try to build on my own. from would be Halo Wars 2. I have absolutely loved this game. Me and Garrett 2x4 have been playing it long. Or I've been dying to just try to get some videos out there for that game and overall because me and Garrett have had some great games. And I mean like games where you thought we'd lose we'd just come back and win them with a clean sweep. I mean it's just great. So I'm hoping to catch and be able to upload him for you guys' uh, content and benefit. And you guys can just... Don't forget to like, like, comment, rate, and subscribe, please. Um, if you do, enjoy this video. And it would help me out a lot just by uh, you know, giving, giving me the opportunity to get my content out there and stuff. Just so that way we can provide better content for you guys. I did get a new graphics card recently. So the detail and the graphics and stuff are just phenomenal on the PC. Um, it feels great to actually start recording on the PC again. And <laughs> what I do, like once a week, no. It just doesn't work. I might do something, uh...
so on and so forth, just things like that. And uh, this thing is a Kibo. That's the, I think that's what it's called. I mean, yeah. And um, I think the highest level you can tame things in this game at is like 120, and they'll go up to like level 200 and something to keep people from, I guess, raiding too much or something like that, like art. Because art, there's a lot of raiding that goes on. And, I mean, it's still the same way on PvP servers from what I've heard and from what I've seen on other YouTube channels for this game. But, uh, yeah, straight away, I just wanted to introduce you guys to the game and let you guys know that I'm coming back and I'm definitely going to be producing a lot more content than what everybody's expecting. I do expect to play Gary, uh, me and Gary, I do expect to play a Halo Wars 2 or record a couple games with him. Um, I'm thinking me and him, we, we might collab sometime on a few games and stuff, which I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll see. Um, this... Uh, man, I just fucking love this game. It's, it's freaking beautiful. It's like Ark on steroids, just about. I mean, you can see straight away. I mean, you got some ginormous trees, similar to the red wood uh, biomes and stuff that Ark had the offer. But I mean, my God, did you? Uh, you can actually build bases inside this and stuff. I mean, I've looked up so much stuff on this game, and I've tried to do as much as I can to figure out how to do stuff on this game. And as you can tell straight away, I've already figured out quite a bit of stuff. But the leveling system is actually a little different. Um, if you can see here, you have your adventuring. You can go to survival. It tells you what you need to do right here in order to just learn things and stuff like that. As far as just learning. Instead of engrams, you can use that as like a ranked system or something to level up. And as you complete your ranks and stuff, you'll uh, unlock more things that you can craft. Which is really cool. But I do plan on doing a new series. Um, in the beginning of this game, you can choose between three different factions you want to choose as. Like, I chose the dwarves, obviously, because I think the dwarves are just freaking badass. And there's a lot of things in this game that the dwarves have that are not um, out to this game yet. Because I think this game's only been out for, like, maybe three-ish weeks, maybe, if that. Th correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I, I really love this game. The game's just freaking amazing. And I'll definitely be doing basing my YouTube channel just around this game overall. So you guys will see a lot of games from this. You'll see a lot of PvP. Um, I'll probably host my own server and stuff like that. I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with this game in the near future just because I love this game so much. I mean, I've had a blast playing it in the past two weeks. But keep in mind, in about two weeks from now, I think college starts back up. And I'm also double majoring in college now. And I am currently working two jobs, but I will be um, cutting back on one of those jobs and stuff. And I will have more time when I get my studies and stuff out of the way to actually produce content. That will not affect the way how I produce content at all, just because whenever I relax or something and want to play a game, I'll just start up recording and stuff. You know, why not record it if you're going to play it, you know? And uh, yeah, I've, I've just decided to start doing that kind of thing nowadays and um, you guys could just comment on the video below and please comment in the comment section I really need to know and get your feedback if I'm doing something wrong or if you guys would like to see me improve on something I would be more than happy to do so so just let me know about that stuff and we'll try to get it all corrected straight away uh oh we're getting a little bit of lag here <laughs> Yeah, this guy's a beast. He's really good when it comes to getting rock or um, anything for... Here, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, he said he's a beast. I do have the XP boost up a little bit because if you play this on the normal settings, guys, this game is so grindy to the point to where it could take a whole entire day to get one foundation of the stronger structure just, just to get the resources for it. I mean... It's it's a lot grindier than Ark. Most people wouldn't even agree to that, but it is. Like when I first started playing this game, without any adjusting, without adjusting any of the settings at the beginning of the game, it uh, like I would be punching this bush, for example, for like five minutes and maybe get two berries out of it. And I, by then, I would already be starving, and my hunger would have already went down, which is another thing I changed, just for our purpose. And just so we don't have to sit here and struggle and waste a lot of time on the video, just 
um, eating food and drinking water, I actually turned off those settings. That way I'm not starving or I'm never going to, you know, run out of thirst or anything. Just so that way we can start building stuff, taming stuff, and enjoying the main things that this game has to offer. Because that's what I've been wanting to do for the longest time. And I've just always wanted to really start recording a game that I've loved for a long time now with really good content and quality. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. And I do hope you guys do appreciate it and enjoy this because this series is going to be one of the biggest series that I'm going to have just because of the simple fact that it is probably the most fun that I've had out of any computer games that I've ever played my entire life. I'm not even joking. Like, it's, it's such a good game. And if you guys need or have any questions on how to do things in this game, I might be able to help you guys out. If you want to comment or anything below, you guys can just let me know, and I'd be more than happy to help you guys. So, let me head back to base here. Um, I do have multiple bases throughout the map. But, uh, like I said, I just wanted to show this off to you guys. Start a video out just kind of like talking about what's coming in the near future and stuff. And I'll definitely start a whole new series up on this game. And I'll probably try being the elves factions to see what they have to offer. Because I know more stuff in the game is unlocked for that faction than the dwarves and stuff. And then later on down the road we can come back to this server and uh, we can enjoy this game. And just see what all the all Dark and Light has to offer for this. Because I'm so looking forward to this game. And there's just so much I want to show you guys about this game and how to play it and everything. It's just it's so fun. It's perfect. <laughs> to say the least. Um... This is a reviving altar. I, fig I figured I'd go ahead and start explaining a few things real quick. This is basically your bed for Ark. It's your respawn um, point. And I build multiple of them because there's also times where you can get raided by a bunch of random animals and stuff. They'll do a lot of damage to your base. Get inside here and pretty much destroy you, all your stuff. And, you know, they'll it'll aggravate you and stuff from time to time. So you want to have more than one spawn point at your area. Just in case you happen to die trying to defend your base, you might want to come back more than once or something, you know, just to get your stuff. Because trust me, I have learned from a lot of experience dealing with this guy or my griffin over here. Because, I mean, God, they have given me some hell trying to tame them and stuff. Or either fight off um, a bunch of monsters and beasts and stuff like them in this game. And I've been grinding a lot to, in this game. Here's a bunch of, here's what charcoal is. I mean, you can see, I mean, that's what you use to make your trank arrows. In other words, they're your taming arrows or whatever. They're called stone hook arrows in this game. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's just a lot of similarities when it comes to Ark and this game because they both run off the same, um, I think it's the same game engine. And uh, it's just, it's a wonderful game. And like you can see mana down here in the bottom right screen. It'll be your uh, book there. That's your mana. And you can use that to cast like spells and stuff with your staff, you know. And you can do a lot of damage with spells and spell casting. It's really nice. It comes with all factions and stuff on this game. So no matter who you are, you're going to learn spells either way. And if you wanted to replenish that mana and stuff and you use it up, you just go to your bed or maybe a sleeping bag or something. And you just lay down and you'll sleep for a little bit. And it'll sleep for just a couple seconds. And then it should refill the mana and stamina all the way back up. It's really nice. And your focus goes all the way back up, too. Which, I mean, I think you can pass out if your focus is not all the way, uh, if your focus runs out. Correct me if I'm wrong for that. If you guys have played this game before. But, um, thank you guys again for stopping by and checking out the video. And this has been Acer Soldier. And it's really nice to hear, to finally get back into recording stuff again. And it's just, it's great. It, it's kind of a relief to start being able to record a little bit in some way but uh thank you guys again for watching this has been acer soldier and i'll see you guys in the next video take care